hello good people welcome to my channel my name is shelia in korea today i'm going to respond to one of the common questions that i get from people who are interested in moving to korea with family or with kids so people always ask is korea a good place to live with kids uh please tell us what is the schooling type whatsoever whatsoever so i'm gonna respond to this question according to my knowledge as someone who has been living in korea for the past 11 years so my disclaimer is i don't work or represent any institution in korea which processes visa or job um opportunities like i'm not an agent for processing visas or getting jobs i'm simply sharing as someone who cares so yeah and i'll go to my inbox on instagram uh, i'm responding to some of the questions that i got on one of my videos that i did yesterday someone asked me okay is it okay to come with kids how is the schooling type and whatsoever so i'll answer those questions right away but i need to open my instagram and check again there was one sister who was asking me similar questions again so yeah please keep bringing the questions it helps me to to even build my content yeah so let me answer this one quickly do i really even remember how the person asked it let me go to my facebook and see the question but first of all korea is a non-english speaking country so that's the major limitation that someone may have when they bring someone when they bring children especially kids of uh maybe that age that is already speaking like more than eight years kids i think it's a major disadvantage to come with a child to learn in korean system but if you have your monies there's no worry like you can afford for those um what are they called those uh, private schools so for private schools i will just google and show you the the private school fees so that you you have a rough idea of how much you end up paying but if your job is really good these are like trivial issues like yeah why i can't see the comments there's a problem with facebook i'm trying to okay i got the question how she asked it she said can you bring your kids to korea if so how are the schools there so i've said korea is a non-english speaking country definitely they speak korean in the korean government schools um right And the government schools are cheaper, are way cheaper than uh, the private schools. And in Korean schools, like Korean government schools, they use purely Korean as a mode of learning. Their mathematics, they learn in Korean. Their, their science in Korean, their Korean language in Korean, there is no, maybe English language will be just the only class they do in English, but in most cases also, it's English explained in Korean. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So if you bring a child who, is, who was already schooling elsewhere, for example, in Zimbabwe, and they come to study in Korea, I personally think you are kind of taking your child back, like you retard your child's progress. Maybe if you are someone who has the time and the resources, you can do homeschooling. I see most Americans do homeschooling for their children uh, because they know the curricula in Korea is not exactly as their countries or wherever they want their child to end up studying the curricula will be completely different but if if your child is born in korea i think um letting them study in korea is not a problem because you are here also they are born here so when it comes to learning korean language it's easy for them to catch the language while they are young yeah 
I, I think so. But if 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 your job is offering you a school a school school fees package or the package for your children welfare, I'm sure you can actually just send your kids to a private school where they can learn USA or British curricula depending on the school. So yeah, those schools are there, the private schools in Korea. I'll give you the tuition ranges for such schools. Let me Google them and then I'll let me google them and show you and yeah uh english schools in korea english schools in korea then i'll answer other questions that someone asked me so um, i will share my screen Share screen uh, English schools in Korea. I just googled English schools in Korea. So, foreign school, the National Graduate School of English, Korean foreign school. I think I, yeah, I have to. Yeah, UK branded international schools in Korea. Let's see how much they cost. The school fees international schools in korea this is a blog i guess so i see blogs sometimes are difficult to read because there are many pop-up stuff yeah the school starts here this one is a british i don't know how to to pronounce is it dowage college or i don't know uh british american why they don't write the tuition i want to see the comparison of the school fees so that people have an idea so it's british and american so this is the dowage college wah, 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 wah. the school fees oh my god these people are freaking rich i think 33 million and 38 million that's the range of their school fees where do they get all this money is really wow is this per semester or per year the fees hey 38 million i i don't want to lie education is so expensive in korea education is expensive in korea very 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 expensive so if your child wants to this is dowage college school in seoul uh, i didn't see okay they right here age four to 18 years is it the school fees for 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 starting elementary to finishing graduation i doubt it's i think it's per year or per it shouldn't that it's per year but hey, that's someone's salary, I think. Wow, that's so expensive. And another school, again, saying 36 million to 40 million. That's someone's salary per year. Wow. <laughs> These people really? Wow. Another one, 28 million to 33 million. American in curricula. I'm wondering, is this, I think it was, last time I was researching about this school fees, it was per, per year, not per semester. 14 million to 21 million, the fees. Wow, French curricula. 12 million to 16 million. These are like unrealistic figures. Because 25 million now, I think it's around $20,000. It can't be per one semester. They don't really specify. Anyway, I will find out later and write in the description. But the school fees are just out of the league. Like, yeah. I think even the fees you don't pay 
you pay in advance oh pay yeah pay yeah pay yeah even if it's for a year, per year, it's like a salary of someone. I, I think I understand why Korean people are not giving birth. I think, <laughs> like seriously, who affords this kind of fees? Like seriously, all the fees is ranging above 20K US dollar. From 16K US dollar, 16K maybe it's reasonable to some extent, if it's a private school. Mm. Wow. I wonder if someone is a teacher at such schools, how much salary do they get? $22,000. I want to show you so that you, 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 you confirm. I'll put the link so that you can read also for yourself. Uh, 22000 range between... $22,000 to $36,000 per year. So Korean people usually when they send their uh, kids to school, they try to always give them the best, the best. So that's why some people end up not giving birth at all because they, they just know this is like a real burden to them. Like they want to give their child the best education, the best of everything, the best of everything. So when they see that the fees and everything is unreachable, they just let it go. So this is the answer for you, someone who asked me about the school fees. And uh, yeah, I guess you can judge for yourself, like, is it viable or not? Because those monies are almost like yearly salary. So for you to even have a child or two who want to study at a private school, you end up not having anything to spare or even the food and other because i know the jobs in korea if you are not working for non-government ngo jobs if you are not working at ngo jobs salaries are not getting much there that may be your salary not your <laughs> you know you know anyway let me not over exaggerate but you you see for yourself you can click the link and read the school fees is so high it's so high so government schools are way cheaper and sometimes at government schools they give discounts to foreign students they give maybe sometimes 50 percent, sometimes even 100 percent discount it depends with the school so as long your child is is korean proficiency then your child can get those kind of scholarships even from elementary school i heard like that from other people that the school actually acknowledges international students who who have korean proficiency let's search about uh, korean government korean government government uh, government schools government schools uh, should I say primary and secondary? A middle school. Government mi middle school. Let me take from middle school. Because if you just search, it will bring um, middle school fees range. I think for uh, these government schools are really not expensive. And I think for them, I think education is free. I think so. They start paying at university, I think. Yeah, the tuition is, ar is around $600 per month with additional lunch and school bus. Yeah. Schooling in Korea is a blog. Let's click it and then I can give you the link just in case you also re want to read for yourself. That's how I do my research because ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. So, Korean government schools are way 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 cheap, way way cheaper than uh, private schools. So, I guess if anyone wants to send their uh, children to such schools, I think you can actually uh, benefit a lot from. So, 
is they say thirty dollars a month then yeah after school programs are even cheaper at such government uh, schools um yeah there's a lot you need to consider if you want to bring your kids to korea i think if you bring the one who will go to kinder it will be better so that at least as they grow older they can actually learn korean easily they can um yeah they can learn korean easily and uh by the time they finish middle school elementary school their korean will be perfect so even high school they will go to korean high school and when it comes to university actually because they are foreigner they may be at an advantage again to get a scholarship so using the korean language system korean education system it's way cheaper but the limitation is language so it's possible yes to bring your child you can bring them but until they perfect their korean that's when they can be enrolled at the school so it's either you bring your child and let them go for some korean training until they pass i don't know whichever route other people are using um or maybe through the school they can train your child until they understand korean i don't know it's more of your research that you need to do for yourself but the fees structure i i got those figures so i have another sister who asked me again many questions so yeah this sister had commented on my on my youtube video she was asking she she is already based in korea so she was asking me if she she said she wanted to bring a daughter to korea so yeah so she wanted to know the price range for kindergarten so Uh, because she was already here in Korea I was recommending her to get price range to any from any kindergarten that is around where they are going to stay so if you already know you are going to relocate to Korea and you have the address of your area definitely just use even google 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 search and put your address and search for kindergartens or daycares and there are always emails or phone numbers you can contact them directly and get quotations even if you are not in korea and then you can see how much you can budget some some of the kindergartens they have um they have websites so you can actually see the price range for their uh fees for the monthly i think kindergarten is monthly yeah um because m- many people say you get uh, discounts as long as child is an alien card a registration card that shows that they are legally staying in korea they can get i'm trying to put my phone on charger they can get a discount so what you need is um yeah also Korean kindergarten they finish school usually around 4 or 6 pm so if you are working you have to find ways of like who is going to take your child from school yeah you have to find ways like find someone who can uh, assist you with school run find ways to get someone who do school run for your child when you are not there because once school is over the car like the those cars which do school run from the school they just come and drop your child and if you are not there the child will be stuck on the street and sometimes most parents in korea they arrange for their children that after school a taekwondo school bus go and pick them up at their school and they go for taekwondo maybe from 6 pm to 7 pm by the time the ch- uh, the parent come back from work they can just uh, arrive at the same time with the child when they are coming from their taekwondo class so korean children study 
so many hours per day it's like their routine is almost like someone who's going to a regular job or even more because sometimes some of them you see them come back home at 8 p.m or even 9 p.m depending on their age but the younger ones sometimes if you see them on their way back home maybe 6 7 p.m and sometimes they may go for taekwondo ballet dance piano lesson whatsoever like they are forever busy busy people so that's the lifestyle for koreans korean children so if you have resources you can actually come with your housemaid from africa who can do the school run for you as you are working because if you start looking for someone to work for you in korea they demand salaries above 1000 years dollar to 2000 years dollar just for taking care of one child so moving to korea with kids it just depends with you if you are a couple then one of you is working and the other one is fully house house i can't say how stay at home mom or housewife <laughs> i don't want to say that but one of you has to be juggling between school run and all because if not your child will be stuck and koreans then don't, don't play if the school is closed and you delay to go and pick your child you pay <laughs> i know my friend used to say they paid she used to pay fine whenever she goes late to pick the child she paid fine whenever she goes late to drop the child she pays fine so you may end up working for the fine too it will be small amount of money but the, by the end of the time when you calculate how much money you have spent <laughs> it will be something else um so you need someone to do school run if your working hours are not normal mm, yeah Yeah, I've already said all the points that, yeah, she even, the, the person that I was giving advice said, she asked it at a daycare, they think they said, um, they said to her she will pay how much? More than 500,000. Uh, I think I chatted with the person for a long time, so the messages are so many, I'm trying to look for the one she said um, okay they said to her the school fees will be 650,000 won for a, a daycare services for a three-year-old child and i think you should also make a packed lunch and buy all those things for the child to use the blanket the whatsoever to use at the daycare so it's not only the 650,000 but i've heard also some places in korea they give you they give discount if you are foreigner sometimes it depends on the location of your kindergarten they give discounts to foreigner children from 10% to even 40%, sometimes even 100% if there are donors around your area who are specializing in supporting foreigner children. You can get 100% tuition, only you take care of your um, child's lunch only. So yeah, so imagine if you get a school fees for 650 and your salary is also 1 million 200 or 1 million and then you, you will see that it doesn't come out it doesn't it doesn't at all because you alone before you even you pay your rent your salary is almost gone so the decision of bringing a child bring a child only if you know that your salary is enough to do so if not you end up just getting stuck and to find a nanny in Korea is so expensive. It can be even expensive, almost like twice the amount you pay for kindergarten to just have a maid. So mm, I don't know. It's up to you to decide. 
uh, as long all my advice is if as long you have a job that is um, i know the jobs for like international non-governmental jobs are much better paying compared to other these part-time jobs that people do with part-time jobs and having to take care of kids again who are maybe three or four kids and you are alone if you are alone maybe if you are two or th- if you are two with your spouse it's doable depending on your children's age but if you are one person and you're trying to figure out like this my lovely sister she was saying she wants to bring a child and she's she will be alone in korea here and their child and then she was doing the logistics and she she realized that she would end up not even affording for paying for her rent if she considered bringing her child to korea so it's a matter of checking your logistics does it add up if it doesn't add up korea is not the best place that's the bluntest answer i can give korea is not the best place to bring a child who is already at a certain stage in stem in terms of schooling it's better to let them finish some stage of schooling let's say maybe let them finish high school and come and look for university place because the primary education in korea and secondary education requires korean proficiency if you want your child to learn cheaply but if you have your resources don't worry the private schools are there the fees are ranging from $22,000 to $40,000 i think it was $40,000 US dollar USD per year so if your salary is in that bracket range and it can be enough uh, private school is for you but if it's for government school government schools I saw $600 per semester. $100 yes, per semester. Per term, per term or semester, yes. Which is very cheap, I think. Almost like Zimbabwean boarding schools, yes. But somehow also it can be expensive if you have three or four kids or even two kids. You see that the time you pay $1,000 something, you are left with something that is even not getting there and although they give discounts to foreigners but i think it will be difficult to actually base on the discounts that they give uh, uh let me see yeah other questions i will do stand alone questions Uh, I think there's another question that I have. I would make a stand alone uh, response. Someone was asking me about proof of funds, travel, and insurance. That one I will talk about it separately. So if you have questions, don't hesitate to inbox me. I may not fully explain to you in the inbox, but I can try also to make a video about that so that if anyone is looking for information at a certain time and i'm not available online they can simply scroll down and look for the video which suits whatever they want and they can read for themselves or listen up and learn and maybe prepare accordingly so that's what i wanted to say in this video <laughs> i don't know if this video is fit to put on my youtube channel but anyway let me let it be on facebook i'll create other videos for my youtube channel so i think that's all i have for now for you regarding moving to korea with kids the decision is yours this is simply a rough estimation by someone who's single person no child so i am judging based on what i see around me and the lifestyle that people around me are living so this is not a standard so you can always search more and even inquire directly from the relevant authorities be it schools or the kindergarten or the immigration 
because me i'm sharing for culture exchange purpose only so thank you good people for watching see you in my next video ciao ciao good people